Welcome back. The summer may be ending, but the good news is the movies are about to get a whole lot better. People Magazine executive editor and early show entertainment contributor Jess Cagle is here with a preview of Autumn's big screen offerings. Jess, great to see you. How great are you? Great to see you, Chris. All right, let's start with uh, what's supposed to be a pretty good movie because it's got a great cast. The Coen brothers did it. So how bad can it be? Burn After Reading. What are your Burn thoughts? After Reading, George Clooney, Brad Pitt. Funny movie. It's not going to win the Oscar like the Coen Brothers' last movie, No Country for Old Men. But it's a funny, you know, caper comedy. And Brad Pitt is actually hilarious. John Malkovich is, is there, who's great, also. Amazing cast. Good movie. You wish it was a little bit better. Tilda Swinton is in it as well, right? Tilda Swinton also. Yeah. Okay. We said the fall season means good movies. <laughs> so you're thinking Pacino, De Niro, got to be good. Righteous Kill. Yep. What is wrong with this? Why is it so bad? Well, this weekend is a mixed bag. You got Burn After Reading, a good movie. Righteous Kill, Pacino, De Niro. You want to see them together. And they are actually very good together. You wish the movie was better. The best thing that I could say for the movie itself is it's better than The Women, which also opened this weekend. And that one's a mess. And there's not a single guy in that women movie. There, there, like there, are, there are no men. In. I was actually the, saw, the original. It, saw it in a theater last night, and I think I was the only guy in the theater. The last word on Righteous Kill, though, I heard Tango and Cash, Starsky and Hutch, Turner and Hooch, all better cop movies. <laughs> yeah, I think that, that although Pacino De Niro, yeah, I'm glad I saw dead. it just for them. All right, yeah. Body of Lies here, Leo DiCaprio, Russell Crowe. Coming out in October, this is a, a, a you know, very quality, big spy thriller. Uh, Leonardo DiCaprio plays a CIA agent who goes off and Russell Crowe is the CIA operative who's up to no good, maybe, I don't know. What about W? W Oliver is Stone. Oliver Stone's biopic of George W. Bush. Kind of amazing that this is a biopic about a sitting president. And since it's Oliver Stone, it's going to be really explosive and really controversial. Now for the kids, you've got Madagascar, Escape to Africa too. But I think a lot of the adults are saying James Bond is going to be back in Quantum Solace. Quantum? As good as the last Daniel Craig one? I, I hope that it is. It looks very good. It's very promising. You know, the last Daniel Craig Bond movie was the highest grossing Bond movie ever. I'm really, really looking forward to this one. These have really kind of gone back to the Ian Fleming originals though, correct? Right, they're very gritty and very, you know, the, I think the, there was a while when the Bond movies were kind of campy and this is really getting back to, you know, it, they're, they're great stuff. Oh, you mean the Pierce Brosnan days? <laughs> I'm not, I was thinking more of Roger Moore. <laughs> yeah, I kind of like Roger Moore back in the day. And of course you've got Q, Jess Cagle. Good to see you as always. Thank Thanks you. so much.